Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, we're going to be analyzing a play called Pistol White Trips Double China. The reason why is because if you guys saw my last gameplay on Madden Ultimate Team, you should be able to see that I used the same play over and over again in the final drive. And what happened is that those plays were completed passes. They were all back to back. And uh, I pretty much ended up on their 22. Like, I ended up on the opposite side of the field on the 22 also. And I ended up doing a field goal. And I won 24 to 22. So, I ended up winning because I kept on using Double China back to back. If you guys haven't seen the gameplay, go back into my videos and watch the video and watch the ending. And you should be able to see how it all went down. It was an incredible game. But Double China actually saved me on that last drive. So... Let's watch the little sample clip. So, that's not the sample clip. There it is. This is versus cover three. This is the one we're going to be analyzing. He also did cover two and two men under. But right now, we're just going to analyze cover three. We're going to separate all videos. So, there it is. Jeremy Macklin to the left side, open for 10 yards. Now, let me tell you why it worked. And let me tell you how I actually read the defense. So, here's the first scenario. The way you can tell it's a cover three is because of this guy. This guy gave it away. He gave it away 10 yards away. Are you kidding me? So that's a cover three. Then this is how a cover three looks. This guy's going to drop deep. This guy's going to drop deep. And this guy's going to drop deep also. The all of them are in blue zones. For those of you guys who haven't played Madden, I'm showing you guys right now what the hell is a cover three. This guy's going to drop flats. Drop flats. This guy's going to cover middle. And this guy's going to cover middle. He's inside, like, pretending to blitz. Uh, but so they're, they're both going to cover middle, and um, that's how cover three looks. But this is what this guy did. Look, watch the play. This is the alternative route. He blitzed the guy that was supposed to be on flats. So let me show you guys how he did it. It's still the same results, though. The still, still the same chances. It's just that the triangle actually gets more chances to get the ball. That's the alternative route for that guy. That's what my opponent did. But what it usually is, they're in flat zones. These guys are in flat zones. So since I saw the curve three, what do I think about my receivers? All right, this becomes my priority. This becomes my number two, my number three, number four, and my number five. That's how it looks. Why is this guy your number one? This guy's going to get you the most yards knowing this guy's going to drop flats, this guy's going to drop middle, and this guy's going to drop deep. And um, that's another way you can tell this play is going to work and how this play is actually going to work because these guys are tricky. These two are tricky as hell. If you don't read them right, you're going to get intercepted. So listen up. If this guy, you got to keep your eye on this guy sometimes. You got to keep your vision into this guy. Use your peripherals to read R1 and square because these guys are going to be your two main ones to make some yards. X and circle are going to be your main ones to like, X is pretty risky. Circle is your pretty much your, your low guy, your, your like one yard, two yard gain. Triangle is like your, I don't know how to, what the hell to do, just throw me an exit and triangle is your exit. You know, that's your final chance. But if this guy, look at this guy, this guy is special. That guy is special. If during the play, you can already see him right there. If during the play, he drops straight back to the yellow line. Look at him. He's going to drop, drop straight back. That's the first thing you see. All right, the guy didn't blitz in. He didn't go out. He went straight back. Square becomes your number one priority. Forget about R R1. I do look at R1. I go like left to right in the beginning. But since this guy drops straight back, I look at square. And there it is. What this guy is doing is waiting for R1. Meaning he's being baited in. He's he's a bait. He's the bait. Uh, these two guys are the bait. This guy's your priority. These two guys are your bait. Since this guy, this linebacker right here, is looking at this guy and waiting for him to cross over this guy is out this guy was perfectly covered by the other linebacker let me tone let me turn it back like a little bit over here and i'll shoot i went all the way to the beginning um 
he was perfectly covered. He was like yellow zone, the crap out of him. As you can see, you had no chances to throw to X. The guy was under X and you know he was ready to go outside with him. So that means X is out. You can't throw to him, especially with this guy around here. This guy's gonna turn into a purple zone automatically. Do you know how these this game actually turns out to? Like the defensive coverage got better, but um, you know, it's just still some potholes, but this guy's gonna read everything on this side. So watch out. So X is out, meaning square, circles, triangles, your only hope. And since this guy is over here, your window for square becomes bigger. Let me show you. The pass was thrown right around this area. That's your little window. That's your window right there. And the way this could happen, guys, is only if you throw it after three steps, he takes from the from the corner route. From this right here. From the little, you know, from the little corner. He's gonna take like around three steps, three quick steps. You throw it, you throw it to him like right away. And it's gonna be a catch. So let's watch the film again. As you can see, it takes like around this time. It takes like around two seconds to notice the defense. The linebacker's going straight back. All right, square. I'm looking at square already. Boom, boom, boom. Three steps in. Square is inside. Throw it. Either lead him inside or just throw it to square. That's all I have to do. You don't have to lead it up. You don't have to lob it up. You have to, all you have to do is just throw a bullet. The faster you throw it, the better the route gets like into a boost and uh, you're able to take it down the field. If you have good jukes. So there it is. So that's how you read the cover three, guys. That's how you read it. And for sure, some guy out there is going to say, what if square is not open? There's a scenario for that also. So that's the only way, guys. The only way this post route is going to work. Only if the, the linebacker over here goes straight up. Now let's look at this worst case scenario, guys. What if square is not open? But let me draw you the defense first. So you guys can get the idea how the defense look. I'm not going to just throw you blind out there and not expect what the hell it is. So cover three, back to cover three. So these guys are open. I mean, these guys are inside. And let me tell you guys how square cannot be open sometimes. It's going to be flats, and this guy's going to be flats. The only way squares that cannot be open is if one of the middle linebackers, which is this guy, drops this way. So instead of going and dropping this way, he's going to drop. Let me delete the little blue square. Let me delete the little blue route that he has. This is the alternative route he'll, he'll sometimes take. If he's behind the DT, he'll go this way. He'll go directly that way. Believe me, he does. And if he does go that way, the amount of time you have to throw it to square becomes minimal. Becomes like 1.3 seconds. Like the right time will be like right here. This is the, the, the middle time. And that's the last second right there. This guy will actually jump in. I've done it before. And they actually jump in. And will be considered an incomplete because he just puts one hand out there in completion. He'll actually jump in. So since this guy is going for square, he's going even higher just for square. Look at these two. So this guy becomes your priority. Only if this guy goes out. Okay. Only if square cannot be open and this guy goes out. This guy becomes your priority. It's one, two, three, and four. And this guy becomes your number five. The reason why he becomes your number five, the only way he can be open is if he's like all the way the hell over here. But that's too long. That's too long. You can't wait like around 10 seconds. You got to throw it. You got to get rid of the ball. So what happens next is that this guy has to either decide to go with R1 or X. If he does go with R1, you're going to have a bad time. But at the same time, you have an open window right here. It's like a small open window. They have like a one second window right here if he falls in with R1 because he's just going to go around this area, just drops in and leave R1 open, which means you're going to throw it right in front of the other linebacker. If he follows X, this is going to be his other route. Let me delete his little circle. Let me delete the little red routes right there. This is going to be his alternate route. He's going to be following X over here. 
So what's going to happen next is that R1 will have this big of a window. He's going to turn inside. The best time to throw it will be between here and here. So that's R1's window. Because this guy's back. This guy is back. He's like right over here like, hey, you know, covering X. He's covering X. He's right over here on top. He's on top. He's right there. This guy's no longer there. He's on top over here. He's going to leave the inside open. You're going to be able to get like around 8 yards to like 5 yards. And that's it. But that's good. That's still good. At least minimal yards is at least advancing your ball. You know, it's advancing the ball. So that's how it pretty much it works, guys. If only this linebacker drops outside and this one drops to X, the inside is going to be open for our one. It's a bait. The X is, is sometimes the bait all the time. And sometimes you can send him into a streak too. If the guy's on user, watch. If the guy's is on user, he's going to get so freaking confused. If he decides to follow X, throw it to R1. If he decides to stay there and follow R1, throw it to X on the streak. That's if you only send him to the streak, though. So that's why you got to play with the X and R1 sometimes. Like, all right, let me send X to the streak, R1 to the slant, or let me left, leave X how it is with a post route, and let me send R1 to the slant. R1 always has to be on slant. No matter what, guys. You got to have a fast guy in there also, by the way. With over 90 speed. Don't don't give me this excuse of, of, of like, oh, I'm going to put Mike Evans or Brandon Marshall. I'm like, no. You got to put like Harry Douglas, uh, Jeremy Macklin, T.Y. Hilton or something like fast in, in there. And the play will become even more successful. So that's it, guys. That's your analysis against the cover three. You know, pistol, um, what's the play again? White trips, double China. Uh, pistol, white trips, double China. Uh, that's the cover three analysis you know hopefully you guys this this help you out and uh the play is on the colts offensive playbook and you can search it right there and then it's they only have like two pistol formations so it shouldn't be hard to find and this play is the last thing is, is, is the last play that i used on that drive guys on that final drive it pretty much helped out so that's how i read my defenses guys pretty much long explanation but that's the explanation you need in order for you to start de reading the defenses so hopefully this worked, guys. And um, you know, if it worked for you, let me know in the comment section. If it doesn't work for you, you're probably doing something wrong. Because this guy's it's all about bait. It's all about bait. If squares open, it's because this guy's baiting this guy and, and the linebackers are baiting each other with X and, and, and R1. If R1's open, it's because the square is baiting this guy out and this guy out, the linebacker out, and X is baiting the linebacker out, and R1 is gonna be open down the inside. It's all about bait. It's all about bait, guys. So leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. Tell me if you guys want to learn more plays, and I'll bring it to you guys for free. No ebook. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more Madden.